Hey, Shad here with SpeedX, and today we're gonna uncrate the Biltwell Lane Splitter. Biltwell is actually located just down the street from us here in SoCal, and they make some killer looking vintage helmets. The Gringo and Gringo S uh, are our top selling vintage lids, and the newer Lane Splitter is setting fire. This thing looks cool. It's more of a uh, drag race as opposed to like the classic vintage, you know, chrome strip like this Biltwell Bonanza behind me. The lane splitter, you get the face shield, you get the full face protection, but you also get that vintage vibe. This helmet starts at $249 for the solid colors. The colorway graphics go up to $299. This is summer 2022, so if prices change, don't get mad at me if you watch this at a later date. Polycarbonate shell, relatively lightweight at 3.4 pounds. Size is extra small through 2X, so if you got a huge head, you're out of the equation here, but otherwise this helmet fits pretty true to size. Go buy that built well sizing chart at speedaddicts.com. And remember, we make shopping for gear online a breeze, so if it doesn't fit, you just decide you don't want it, we actually pay the return shipping, so we make that super easy. Buy your next helmet at speedaddicts.com. Let's jump in and show you all the goodies. So we're talking a vintage style, but modern construction, modern safety. This helmet is DOT and ECE certified. DOT is, of course, the, the US standard uh, for street legal helmets and ECE 2205, which is the European standard. When I see a helmet that is dual labeled, um, both DOT and ECE, I like to see that because that means it's passing both those tests and those tests, without going too deeply into this conversation, those tests uh, prioritize different you know, features when it comes to safety and, and different tolerances. So we like that. The comforts uh, involved is, is that modern comfort. You don't want it to fit like and feel like a helmet from the 60s. You just want it to look cool, right? So it, they use a, a, a fleece Lycra liner. We'll show you that in a minute. And it is comm system ready. You also see that. Great ventilation for a vintage helmet. We're going to start there. So ventilation, you got that chin bar vent, of course, which looks cool. These are always on. So if you're riding cold weather, you're going to have to tape that off or just not use this helmet. Uh, so always on front ventilation, always on rear exhaust ventilation. So with those two entry points, this helmet is going to have great vacuum exhaust. It's going to pull that hot air out, get the cool air in, which is what we want. This helmet flows a lot better than most vintage helmets I've tested in the past. If that's not enough ventilation for you, you can ride with your visor cracked because they do have a number of detents. So position one, two, three, and four, and those are pretty sturdy. So those will work at a decent clip down the road and get you more airflow through the front. This thing clips over here on the left side, so you push that down until you hit that button. And they got a really nice pronounced thumb tab on that shield, so you'll be able to grab that real easy. You wanna open, just pop that up, or all the way back. The face shield is anti-scratch, anti-fog, and UV blocking. They have smoke, iridium silver, and a rainbow iridium. So you can mix and match, customize your lane splitter to your heart's content. They also have different color base plates if you wanna set this off. They got red, they got bronze, they've got the black light comes installed here. Let's flip this guy over and see what we're working with on the inside. First up, you're gonna notice you get a chin curtain or arrow skirt as some may say. This is not common on vintage helmets. We like that, it keeps the weather out of your helmet but it also keeps the noise out. Most noise is coming from the bottom of your helmet, so we like a chin curtain. It's a nice neoprene material. Behind the chin curtain, we have a polymer, um, like a, a polymer chin bar pad. Nice, thick, robust. Remember, most of the impacts in a motorcycle get off and with a mug smash, so it's nice when a vintage helmet actually has some protection on the inside of that chin bar. It's not, not just the shell, right? So you're gonna get some protection there. That's a nice thing to have. Double D ring closure, no surprises there. And then they do have a really cool sliding chin strap um, retainer here. So after you thread it through your D rings, you're able to put the extra material, snap it on there, and add this to you know wherever it needs to fit. So kind of a unique way to handle that problem that Biltwell has on all their helmets. Let's pull these cheek pads, removable washable liner. Okay, that's that fleece material, real soft, wicking. It'll keep you warm when it's cool and cool when it's warm. Nice place to be inside this helmet. You'll notice this piece in between uh, the edges of the cheek pad is a mesh, which is nice because it's gonna let your comm system get to your ear holes there. It won't block too much of that sound because like I said, the helmet does come 
comm system compatible with those speaker pockets. You can use a, a shell clamp mount or an adhesive mount to put a comm system on here. We've tested a few, they all fit with no problems. And we're gonna pull this headliner out of the way with a couple of snaps. Again, I recommend washing these in a sink and air drying them. Inside, you are going to see a channeled foam EPS liner. That's what's doing the work in an impact. It's gonna absorb those forces so they don't go into your brain, hopefully. But also, those channels work as a ventilation ducts. So the air that's coming through this helmet will actually get onto your scalp and then es escape through that exhaust port in the back. When you hold this helmet up to the light, you can see this big port over here. So they've, um, they've made a port in that EPS liner for that air to actually escape. So again, this thing flows really well. And those are also, those channels also work as crumple zones to absorb energy in case of an impact. Built well offers a two year warranty on all of their helmets, which is really nice. And like I said, they have offices here in California ready to take care of any rider's needs. So if you're looking for a vintage lid, you want modern safety, modern features, and a cool design, Lane Splitter might be for you. Head over to speedaxe.com to pick one up. Give it a shot. Remember, risk-free shopping when you shop with Speed Addicts. We appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget to subscribe so we can keep bringing you awesome gear content. We'll see you next time to find out what's in the crate.